Michael Navy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching, if you can share this video on my channel and help support the awesome bands I feature. And today I'm here with Tension Rising. How you doing today? Hey, man. How's it What's going? What's going on, Mike? How are you? Good. 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 Good to have you. Now, you want to start off by giving us a little history about the band? Sure. Well, um, Alex actually uh, was an old acquaintance of mine back from high school, and we had a mutual friend of ours who was a drummer, and we all used to jam and hang out and whatnot. Um, after high school, we kind of lost touch, but Chris and I actually connected in college through another mutual friend of ours, and we started a band, started out as a cover band, uh, but eventually it materialized into Tension Rising, and um, we wrote some songs, we wrote some albums, uh, went from a uh, more classic rock, 80s rock-driven foundation and transitioned into something heavier. But along the way, we picked up Alex. I reconnected with Alex because he professed a strong interest in, in joining our group, uh, knowing me and knowing that you know I was a musician for a long time as well. And so Alex came along. Uh, he's been with us for about five years. And... Um, we basically have new life injected into us in terms of musically, uh, um, in terms of the flavor of what we do. And um, yeah, it's uh, basically uh, right now what we have is uh, three of us currently looking for a drummer. But um, yeah, we pretty much have our sights set on what we want to do. Now, I see you got a lot going on. You got a new website, new album coming out. You want to tell us all about that? Yeah, yeah, we'll, uh, we we got a new website. We're really excited about it. Uh, we didn't even have one for several years just because the band's kind of been on hiatus. But um, we're really excited to have it now and um, just built it recently. It has all of our newest music that's been released. It has our videos. And uh, so if you are interested in seeing or hearing any of our newest stuff, definitely go there. That's going to be the hub for everything. And... Uh, you know, we're going to put stuff on social media as well, but the website is always going to have the most current stuff. TensionRisingBand.com. And you want to tell us a little about the new album? Uh, yeah, so, I mean, about the album itself, um, you know, like Nick was saying, you know, we are taking more of a direction to a heavier uh, side of things, uh, especially from where we came from doing, as we was pointing out, a lot of the classic rock roots and... Uh, you know, just stemming off from there, we wanted to embrace something heavier, a little darker, uh, kind of show that that more sinister side to us. Um, so when we sat down and we wanted to hash out these songs, you know, obviously we start with a riff. And that's been the foundation for a lot of our songs. We start off with a nice riff and just build on that. Um, and when it came down to hashing out what we wanted to write about, we looked at events going on around us or concepts that we have thought about previously. And uh, we try to apply them to the actual songwriting uh, that we have going on. So each song plays its own little role in uh, either something we experienced or something that's currently happening in the world today. Uh, or we would write about something that uh, something that's relatable. So if it's more of a sensational thing, we want to write something that's relatable to every listener, something that we can all go through just as human beings. Um, so there's a few songs on there that, uh, you know, you'll hear and it's like, okay, I, I definitely, I, I feel what they're writing about. And then there's other songs that are com just completely brawling where it's just, you let the energy of the music just take you on a ride and, uh, you just, uh, you know, you just let it, let, let it control you. Let, let it just fill your body and, uh, let it, let it do its thing. And that's what we want to do for the entire album. Just make it, make it heavy, make it kicking and, uh. Really, uh, really take a different uh, direction from where we used to be. I know you guys start off as rock. It's gotten heavier, almost pushed you into the metal genre. So do you think that's uh, the direction you're taking? Is more metal? Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely metal. <laughs> and uh, now new music. I know the band's called Tension Rising. A lot of tensions are going on in the world right now. So is that helping to fuel a lot of the music too? Absolutely. Uh, it definitely gives us uh, what feels like an unlimited amount of uh, source material. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, right, exactly. Um, at least the silver lining of uh, things not going well in the world is you have something to talk about, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, despite the pandemic and everything, like, uh, 
we've been able to continue writing music and using kind of the experience that the whole world is like facing right now for a subject matter. I mean, the album's not exactly about the pandemic, but just things that people are going through maybe as a result of it. And do you want to tell us about how you came up with the band name, Tension Rising? <laughs> so it's, it's actually a funny, funny little story. Um, I want to say it started about 2011, 2012-ish. Um, around that time, we were transitioning from being a cover band. At the time, we, uh, we had called ourselves Revival, or The Revival, because we were playing cover shows, doing the bars, and little, uh, little gigs every now and then, and we were just reviving classic rock songs. So when we wanted to transition to doing our own material, we said, okay, we need to have our own identity here. And uh, we batted around a couple of names. We didn't really land on anything that we really liked. And at the time, I was working as a home attendant for a handicapped teenager. And it was one of the days I was just driving home from school, getting him set up at the house, and uh, I was getting ready to head out for the day. And his little brother, who must have been eight, nine, maybe ten years old at the time, uh, but he was really into music, and he was really into the band. And he catches me up at the door. He's like, hey, I have an idea for a band name. And I'm like, okay, buddy, you know, what do you got? Give it to me. And he goes, what do you think about Tension Rising? I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> so after that, I mean, I brought back the guys. I'm like, guys, what do you think about the band name Tension Rising? And pretty much, it was pretty much sold right then and there. <laughs> I, I, could, I could attest to that because I'm, I'm the only one that's left over from that era who uh, uh, had that collective response. And I basically had a list of about 50 possible names that I just looked at. And I was like, you know what? Crumbled it up into a ball, threw it in the garbage. I'm like, all right, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's settled. pretty much, that's pretty much how it all went down. So, I mean, Tyler, wherever you are right now, buddy, whatever you're doing, Thank you. Uh, we really appreciate it, and uh, it's been a great uh, starting point for us uh, going forward. Now, speaking of the new album, when is the release date, and what is uh, going to be the first single? So we have the uh, we have the next single coming up in the form of a lyric video called Doomsayer, and that's expected just over a week from now, right? And um, and the album release date is the first week of August. Uh, do either of you know the number offhand? Uh, oh, should it have been September? Oh, September I'm sorry, 7th? it's September. September, yeah, September 7th. 7th. Yeah. Yes, that's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're really hyped about it. We only just kind of uh, landed on a release date a couple of days ago. So um, yeah, we're really hyped about it. And uh, yeah. this, this newest lyric video, Doomsayer, we're really hyped about it as well. Um, I, I think the video really, really encapsulates what the song is about. Want to tell us about the song? The meaning of the song? You want to take that, Chris? Uh, yeah, sure, not a problem. Um, so, Doomsayer, uh, it, was, it was one of the first songs that we really started writing about. Um, and like I was saying before, you know, we started out with a riff and we just built it from there. But we took a look around at everything that's been happening you know, not just locally, but globally. And we said, this is pretty chaotic right now. And I was always drawn to that, that apocalyptic concept, you know, um, j just the, the ideas and the, the themes, the, the imagery behind it. It's, it's very captivating. Um, so I said, let's write a song about what that world would be like. And it, basically it's, it's, it's more of a story. Um, so you have this one individual who, is in this apocalyptic world and there's really just, everything's going to hell. Uh, there's death and destruction, fire, chaos. It, it's just madness. And he approaches this person, this cloaked figure, and he's, he is called our doomsayer. Normally, I guess we would identify him as a soothsayer, but in this case, he's bringing nothing but bleak news to you. So we call him doomsayer. And the man goes to him and he's like, what do you, having like what do you foresee happening um is it gonna is, is this the end of mankind is this is this the end of the world or is there a possibility for light at the end of this tunnel and very plainly the doomsayer just tells him i see no hope for you now so he he paints this very bleak picture of what's coming 
and we wanted to write a song that that shows that intensity that shows that that darkness that edginess and what it would sound like if the world was really coming to an end um so we created this whole concept this whole story and to accompany with the lyric video that will be coming out um it creates this this grand picture of uh what the whole song is about so you know we're looking forward to see how people react to it because it's going to be pretty intense sounds very intense (laughs) now if people want to look you up online find your music find you on social media how do they do that well first and foremost the new website definitely check us out there that's where you're always going to find the most up-to-date stuff so tensionrisingband.com but we're definitely keeping up with our social media so we're on facebook Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. So um, we're under Tension Rising Band for all of those as well. So uh, as for our upcoming lyric video, it will be posted everywhere, but look it up on YouTube and uh, subscribe there if you like what you see, because there's going to be a lyric video for every single song of this album. And we're going to be doing playthroughs, a lot of them for the remainder of the year. Awesome. Well, it was good having you and talking with you, and everyone looked them up. Yeah, we're that great, man.